All right, guys, welcome to Team Hope Monday Night Training. We have a special guest. We are super, super excited for you guys to hear from. She's a sweet, sweet lady and has just been hustling and teaching us a lot of stuff. So um, before we introduce her, we just kind of want to say a few, a few announcements, I guess. So I'm Jana Fogelman. This is... I'm Chris. <laughs> um, and this is Team Hope. And let's see, announcements. Tomorrow, if you have not registered, Josh and Jenna are doing a live training. I think it, it's at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Is that right? Um, yes, Pacific. So that's... What time is that? Five o'clock. Five o'clock our time. Is it five o'clock our time, guys? Six, East six, Coast? Six. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Six, six o'clock Eastern. Yeah, so do not miss that. That is a really good opportunity. So they're going to start to do that each week, but you have to register and we'll put the link up in Team Hope. So do not miss, do not miss. And if you missed it last week, our private Zoom with uh, Jenna Zwaga, it's up on my YouTube page. So you can find it there. Um, we can actually post it up again in Team Hope. But yeah, that was inspirational to everybody, guys. So if you are not following her in any form or fashion, go ahead and start. It's a very good place to start. So she actually is mentoring yours truly over here. So I'll let him tell you a little bit about that. Hey guys. So yeah, I'm glad all you guys are here. Thank you for showing up. Melissa, I'm super excited to hear your story. Um, and I'm gonna say something that you kind of swore me not to say, but don't stop me because I need to say this, okay? And guys, what I'm gonna say right now does not leave this team, does not leave this meeting. Is that clear? We do not tell anybody what I'm getting ready to say right now. Okay. So a lot of you remember in December when we were trying to hit rank at 50 and you remember how stressed out we were? I want you guys to know what kind of person this girl is. And that's why I'm sharing this, Melissa, is because I want them to know what kind of person you are. And I know you don't want me to, but I want them to hear this. So do you guys remember when I, we reached out to you guys and we told you that we had the cruises and we had the uh, vacations. Melissa called Jana and I that morning and she said, I don't know what happened. I'm with my husband right now and we're pulled over on the side of the road and I saw your message in Team Hope and God told me to reach out to you guys and to help you. She's the one that gave us the cruises and the vacations through her husband and her. So as I said, guys, this woman is amazing. She has a huge heart and she did not have to do that. That's, that's like just mind boggling to me. And we are extremely grateful to you, Melissa. And I know you want to stay humble and I know you give all the credit to God. I know that, but I want these people to know that you did that because I think it's important. Um, so I'm going to let her share her story, guys. She's going to try and stay within the limit. Uh, we, we're going to give her the signal. And I'm just kidding. Um, but Melissa, I want you to, um, I want you to be real, girl. Unmute yourself. I want you to, like you are with me and Jana, like I want you to keep it real. Like be you, you know, do what you do. And I know you're going to. It, the show's yours. Go for it. Thanks a bunch. Those that don't know me, um, I'm Melissa Honeybee. And I actually um, became friends with Jenna back in 2014. And I helped um, educate on the sprays when they launched that. I didn't stay and work the MLM. It kind of wasn't my thing. My background is internal medicine. So I've been a PA of internal medicine for 32 years. And so I did the medical side. And, you know, and I had a friend that was like, come help us out. So, you know, if I have a friend in need, I'm going to be there for him. That's just me. So um, I'm going to fast forward because I know we're limited on time um, to like December of 2016. And I spoke with Jenna at that time and she was testing CBD oils. And so I was um, able to try the oil before it was even hemp works before it was even in with my daily choice. Um, I was kind of like a product tester. I used it. I loved it. It was fantastic. We, um, she and I, I Oh, there we go. She did an e-commerce and we sell or sold the oil online week after week after week. And she was telling Josh that she was going to sell this oil with or without him. You guys kind of know who the little bit of that story, but, um, so eventually we sold so much oil, we couldn't keep up with the demand. And 
that was a great thing because she's like, Josh is finally going to put it in MDC and I want you to help promote it with me. And I'm like, eee. that wasn't really my forte, you know, but I like helping people. And I love the way that the, what the oil did for me. I'm going to fast forward a little bit more because I know we're limited on time. Um, in May, the, I think it was a 15th of 2017 is when we launched and it was a it was so phenomenal and I can't wait for Chris to do Jenna's boot camp because he's going to get his ass kicked so <laughs> because she kicked mine every day I never I swear to you this business in the beginning it was worse than seeing patients over and over and over because I had army Jenna Swagel that you guys don't know you've not seen that side of her but I have <laughs> And she kicked my butt over and over and over, which kind of formed me into the leader that I am today. So it wasn't such a bad thing, but um, it allowed me to be able to have a more of an open heart, to listen to people, to hear their stories, to figure out what I could do to help people. You know, and that's kind of like, you know, I saw Chris and um, Jana's post and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to help them. I got to do what I got to do. So along the way, you know, you, you build these traits and you learn this and you guys, you're going to have a phenomenal time learning from Jen too. But the thing about this is, is this company has the biggest heart of any company I've ever um, been a part of. And I'm like corporate America. So you all know this is so new to me, but um, any, if I can be successful in this and I want to let you know, I, um, organically grew my business. I didn't reach out to friends. I did not reach out to anybody. I created a brand new Facebook page and started from scratch. And I went from group to group to group and formed um, friendships and started building at that point. So just so you guys know, I started from ground zero. At that time, you guys have it made. <laughs> we were not certified. Everybody thought CBD oil was marijuana. They, they were like, I don't want to get high. So I was like on high alert to educate, 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 educate until I was like 24 hours educating and teaching. So now you guys actually, I mean, like it's so easy to be able to share, but I know one thing that I want to share with you in that I was talking to Kristen that you guys may not understand the dynamics of this oil. First of all, I would have never have left what I was doing. And just so you guys know, after working this 10 months, I did retire myself from the medical field, um, working actively. Um, it took me 10 months to hit six figures with this company. And that was again, making new friends from scratch with a brand new Facebook page. So you guys have the advantage. You guys started with friends and I had to start without because I just didn't, couldn't do my medical page. And then people go, Oh, you're trying to take your, your patients or whatever. So I had to like start from ground zero. Um, what I want to tell you is that the reason I, I did form a, a um, bond and decided to work this business is because of the, the, the foundation, you know, the, they wanted to make sure they had a pure potent product. And I don't know if you guys understand how special our oil is. Um, I know that you guys probably went and compared labels in the back and looked at other companies and to see, you know, what they have. If you have it, you need to, because we use the whole hemp plant, the whole entire plant. And it's so important. I can do some breakdowns for you and I can make sure that Chris gets this list, but they're in the whole plant and the way that we process with the cold press, the CO2 without using harsh chemicals, we have over 400 nutrients in the plant. That's why God made it. It was for us to be able to thrive, you know, with it. That, that was our, you know, let thy food be thy medicine. That is it. And, you know, HempWorks was able to get it formulated to where we didn't add the MCT or the, you know, the coconut or whatever, because we have a coconut system. We wanted to keep it pure. We wanted to keep it a cannabis system, right? We wanted it to be all cannabis because we have an endocannabinoid system. So when people tell you, oh, we use carrier oils of sunflower or this and that, you don't have a sunflower system either. You have a cannabis system, right? I mean, think about it. So you have a 100% pure product 
that is, and this is what's so key, going sublingually into your um, system. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys a trick so you can teach your downline. First of all, I don't do the whole dropper or anything like that. If you're gonna do a whole dropper, you do it in five drops at a time, okay? I'm gonna teach you this because I think it's so important. This is kind of like a medical thing. I want you guys to swallow your saliva right now, okay? Now I want you to smile and suck in. Are you parched? Yeah. Are you parched? That's when you put the oil in. You put the oil under the tongue then, you know why? It'll absorb it right away. You don't have to worry about swallowing it, wasting it, going in your digestive tract. You want it into your system, 100% in your system. That's how you do a sublingual. That's the medical way. So I want you guys to realize you've got something so potent that has to go into your bloodstream without a filter. Now, if you can imagine other oils that have all this junk in it, I'm talking about they're not third party tested. There's probably pesticides, herbicides, all kinds of stuff, heavy metals goes directly into your bloodstream. It's not going through your filter system. It's not going through your liver right away. It's going into your bloodstream. That means your cells, over 37 trillion cells that you have are waiting for that cannabis. And you know what? Hemp works can deliver. We can deliver because we're giving you 100%. But you've got to know how to share with people how to take it. And it's so important. So if you want people to get the most bang for their butt, Teach them, not more than five drops at a time. Swallow, suck in, and take it. Now, I also am gonna tell you a pet peeve of mine. You've got a question. Okay. Why only five drops? Because if you do more than five drops, you're gonna end up building up saliva and swallowing it. Five drops at a time. Okay. Okay, okay makes sense? Yep. If you put a whole bunch of, of, of oil down there, what happens? It starts going here right? And you're still holding, holding, and saliva starts building up. Then you're like, I held it for my 60 seconds or whatever. What'd you do? You swallowed part of it. In, in, like, let your body get fed what it needs to be fed, right? Okay. So if, that's, that's my tip. And that, I mean, I promise you, you're going to feel a difference. But now I'm going to tell you my other pet peeve. So the reason <laughs> it's so important to know this is because our mouth has what? Full of bacteria, right? So I'm gonna probably bust your bubbles. I always tell my team and I tell them, if you're gonna do your oil, you need to make sure you brush your teeth before you do your oil. If you ever notice people are talking about doing um, their swish and then they spit out like coconut oil or whatever that, it's because they're drawing bacteria. Well, we do have oil and in hemp also you can use to swish around and then spit out. So we, do, we want to put everything as pure as possible into our mouth. So I always tell everybody, brush your teeth, after you brush your teeth, do your oil. So keep it in the bathroom, it's dry, it's cool enough place, you're gonna be fine with the story in there. Do it twice a day. So whatever your drops are, twice a day, you know, you know, pull it out, leave it there at the bathroom, and you've got a mirror right in front of you, you can count. So you have everything right there for you. It's so important because you've got these receptors that are waiting to be fed. We're all cannabis deficient. We've been this way pretty much all of our life unless you were breastfed then your mama gave you some cannabinoids. If you eat a lot of broccoli or a few of the greens that do to produce it, or if you're a chocolate-holic, you may get some cannabis, but it's not the same amount and it is not gonna turn your receptors on. I don't care, you can go to Hershey for a whole day and you still won't turn a receptor on. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I just wanna make sure you guys do use your oil, but use it in a good way where you're gonna receive all the benefits from it. And this is from a medical standpoint, but I think it's so important you know, that we kind of teach and we want, I mean, I want people to feel better. That's why I got in the medical field. And when I realized that I was doing this oil and the lives were being changed, I realized I had been in sick care for 30 years. And I've been now, I feel like the last two plus years I've been in healthcare. 
And that's why I like to share with teams and that's why I like to educate because I think it's so important, but I wanna make sure you guys are teaching the right way too, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna just come off of HempWorks for a minute. Who does the sprays? Anybody use the sprays? So where do you guys put the sprays? Under your tongue? On top of it. No. No, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> okay, so take your tongue, okay? Put it on the side of your cheeks. Fill your cheeks. They're spongy. That's where you spray the sprays. Inside uh -huh. the cheeks, okay? Yeah. Yep. Don't do more than three sprays at once. So if you go spray, <laughs> spray, spray, then hold it. If you're going to do six at once, like you're doing your trim 365, spray, spray, spray. Don't do it all at one time. Because what'd you do? Swallowed it. Okay. Okay. So I just want to make sure you guys understand this is your, your um, vehicle. It's, it's uh, got um, little tiny pinholes. When you spray it to your cheek, it absorbs directly into your bloodstream too. So it doesn't have a carrier oil. So you've got to put it here. You're putting it on your tongue, honey. You're not getting it where it needs to be going. I was wondering why I had to take 15 sprays of sleep spray for it to work. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> how are you awake now? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that's some of my medical tips because I think it's so important. But this is the main thing. You guys have a pure product. You have something that there's no competition still. You have these nanos, whatever, this stuff. You know, when, when, they, when someone brought up nano to me, I was like, that's some expensive vitamin water. You know why? Because you're swallowing it, right? And we don't want to swallow our oil because if you swallow the oil, you're absorbing maybe 10%, okay? So anything you swallow is 10%. Anything you do inside the cheek, you're getting 98% absorption. If you do the method I told you about the sublingual, you're gonna get your 98% in there. 2% is, you know, human error, but that's okay. 2% is better than 90%, right? Yeah. But Rewind to the nano. So you told me something the other day that I didn't know that <laughs> actually is a huge selling point. The nano stays in your system maybe a certain amount of time. Okay, three days? Three days max. So because guys, it's going to flush out. Yeah, go ahead and tell them what you told me about the so difference. Yeah, so it's water soluble, right? So in oil is what? Fat soluble, right? So oil stays with fat in fat cells and, and oil, I mean water, <laughs> flushes because that's how we're made. We're made, we drink water and it flushes out our systems. It helps detox, right? It gets rid of the bad. Well, the thing about it is if you're drinking nano water, it's just like you're flushing everything through. So you go drink a big gallon of water today and tell me how many times you potty. <laughs> okay. You're going to flush it out, right? You're not going to just sit here and hold it for three days, right? No, it's, you're going to the bathroom. That, that's why I say bye-bye nano because you're spending money on some expensive vitamin water. That's it. And you don't even know the potency because they can't tell you. Did you know that? They cannot even tell you how much CBD is in it because it's a certain machine and there's no other machines that have it except for the people that made it. There's no way that anybody can even test it at all. Now we're supposed to sit there and believe they're scientists, you know, but I'm sure that anybody can be paid any amount of money to say whatever they want to say. I will tell you in the medical field, and I think um, Dr. Sharkey touched on this also, is that, yeah, there was a prescription made in the nano form. And guess what? It was a bust because th they couldn't measure if anything was happening to the patients and they couldn't measure if the patient received the medication except for doing, making them a porcupine, I mean a pin cushion. They had to like completely keep doing labs over and over and over. Well, somebody always want to be poked every hour to see what the levels are of the medication going into the system, right? You wouldn't want that. So that's kind of like, it was like a silly thing. They're just trying to say, hey, we've got oilless CBD oil. What? What? <laughs> How do you say you have oilless oil, right? 
<laughs> have you ever made a salad, ladies, and did oil and water or vinegar, and they doesn't they don't mix? Right. Yeah, this doesn't work. That's why CBD has been around and it's oil soluble because you want it to stay in your system. Now, oil will stay in your system up to six weeks. Did you know that? That was the key. Is it's three days for nano. Our stays in your system for up to six weeks. Yeah, yeah. Now, if, if you are doing a keto diet, it's going to stay in a lot longer because you're eating those healthy fats. So you're, you're uh, now not only are you getting healthier for your body, your physique, but you're also allowing that CBD to be enhanced to last a lot longer in your system because it's living with the good fats. And that's what you want. Wow. So, I don't know. That's a little bit of medical tips, but if you have me back after another time, we'll get into dig into more, but I just want you guys to know you have the best products on the market. There's, I mean, I'm not just saying that I would not have left what I was doing of 30 years to come do this. You know, there's no way, you know, and I'm not saying I'm rich or anything. I'm not. I, you know, I use my match check to be able to buy those cruises and those trips and stuff. But I think it's so important to always give back to my team. And when I see people in need, you know, I want to help them. So if you do see me on the road, like hitchhiking to Vegas, it's because <laughs> I probably gave my, my last shirt or my last dime to somebody. But I always figured you give more and you're going to get blessed right down the road. So <laughs> you think I'm joking. Back, I'm so we don't get to keep it, right? Yeah. What did you say? You said if we don't give it back, we don't get to keep it. Exactly. You've got to give to get. So yeah. that's why I like to do these educationals. I know it's short and sweet, but I know you guys have a phenomenal person coming on that's going to be talking about um, a book or something that you guys are doing. But I just want you guys to know, gosh, stick with it. You know that, that you may think that you're running into a, 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 a wall every once in a while because you have these nano people like Byron, this and this and that they they're only being taught what they're told but guess what everything i told you you can go look up at pubmed.gov because that's that is where physicians scientists go put all the research and it's been like that for centuries and so there's nothing going to change that it's all written in history it's in the books and nothing can change it's all there it's, it's, it works for your body. You have this endocannabinoid system. You have two receptors. I'm going to tell you one more tip that I do for my clients. And it's really important because we do have two receptors and one of them mainly works for the brain. And that would be the THC. And it's so limited. If you have anybody, and I'm not supposed to say medical names, but I'm going to say it because I'm in the medical field. But if you have somebody that has problems with cognitive that um, maybe have heavy metals in their system, that you need to get it out, you need to increase their B vitamins. That means you need to make sure they're on a boost and they're on um, the brain. And I will tell you from experience, um, Rich, and I, Rich and I have a Brady Bunch family. So we have a blended family of six boys. And Rich's um, third son, he, is, he has autis autism. And we put him on the CBD and he did phenomenal. They, we were told that he would not graduate high school. He graduated. He graduated. Not only did he graduate, but we also added him on the brain spray and all that. He received a scholarship. So he's doing good. Now he's in college his first year. It's pretty awesome. Wow. I have, a, I have my child that is just turned 16, um, should be in high school in the ninth grade. He went straight to college. And um he takes cbd every day and he will not leave home without his brain spray he's like i have to stay focused and does his brain spray it is so cute because whenever he has exams he's like i gotta do extra brain spray and he'll come back and say i was so focused he tells me i was laser focused and he goes and that's what he tells me i'm laser focused and i and he goes i didn't let any distractions and i just you know did it and he said it was so easy that's what we want for our kids right we don't want the outside world, you know, disrupting them and you want them to be able to stay focused on task. So I always try to tell everybody, make sure that you are supplementing with the sprays. We only do get a certain amount of nutrients. It's 400, but it's all the nutrients. So if you need somebody that needs an extra boost, 
which means anybody that has pretty much almost every disease that is out there is a B and a D deficiency. You guys probably didn't know that either. But I will tell you, it correlates because it, your gut is where inflammation starts with most diseases. And if you have low B vitamins, your gut is inflamed. So you need the CBD to remove that. You also need the extra B sprays to help boost and help feed that gut. So then it'll start absorbing more nutrients that you consume orally, if that makes sense. Wow, but, girl. So you just dumped a doctor, <laughs> Dr. Hunt. I know, um, I kind of probably went off task for you, but I was like, I got well, to like do what we're going to do. I know for a fact, I can tell by a lot of the team members how interested they are. I wasn't sure where they were going to be at with that. So what I think we should do is all of you team members that are interested in this kind of stuff, let's set up a meeting. Anybody's welcome to come. And Melissa, yep. will, we'll set up a day and a time, maybe, you know, afternoon, Saturday, so whatever. And I don't care. whoever wants to come, we'll start an event and we'll invite you guys. And we can actually really get down and dirty with this stuff, all right? Yeah, and you know, invite, invite your customers. Let me educate them. Let me help them. The good thing about that is I am in the medical field, so I can give them advice. And if they say, hey, you know, I've had this, this problem of reflux and I don't know what to do. My thing is, great, you can get them on CBD, but we also have to get them on a boost spray for their gut health. But it, because if they're having reflux, we can't put them on a CBD with peppermint because it could create GERD. So depending on knowing the medical knowledge of what can set them off, I can help y'all. Okay. Whatever I can do to help you guys educate your clients, you guys can... Anytime you need me, you can utilize me in a three-way messenger chat. I don't mind helping you. Okay, guys, you heard that. So everybody that wants to reach out to Melissa, reach out to her because she, uh, actually, Camila, you sent me a thing. How do you get into that testimonial group? We don't need to. We have, <laughs> and we actually have, guys, just so you know, Sherry Beth is a high-ranking nurse as well. So Sherry Beth's on the team. We've got Melissa. Awesome. We've got, so you know, reach out, friend them, and they will help you. This is incredible. And another, per another thing, guys, sorry. She's not even on our team. She doesn't make any money off of us. This company is badass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know what? We're one family, right? We're here to help. Right. My team, I call us the rescue mission. We have pets and we've got people. So it, you don't have to be on my team for me to help you. We're all one team. We're all here trying to, to help others, right? Yep. So. Girl, we love you. Thank you so Thanks. much. We Thanks will for inviting me. No, thank you. And we are going to definitely set up another meeting, okay? I'll talk to you probably tomorrow about it. Okay, sounds fantastic. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you Bye, see you later. All right, Bye. awesome. Wow, that was cool. I have like permagrin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw, okay, so I saw Joan, Stacy. <laughs> Michelle, Susan, you were all locked on. You were like, yes, yes, I need that. Shelly, I got it. I think I'm going to order some more sprays. Yeah, me too. I'm ordering sprays this month. All I'm right. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to spray my cheeks right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> might, I'll might. get there eventually. I'll, I'll make progress. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are back for the Monday night fast track training. <laughs> wow. Uh, so if you guys, you're welcome to be here. You're welcome to not be here. Nobody's going to be judged if you don't show up. Last year or last book we had, I think we started with 42 and we ended up with maybe 15. And um, that's okay because Corey and Jan and I, if we help one person, we did our job. So um, we're going to start with the book tonight. And guys, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm in trouble right now. <laughs> I didn't read the first chapter. So, Corey, I need you, buddy. <laughs> but I'm That's here. All right. I know, I know that we all just kind of ordered it and we're kind of getting on the f same page. So I can kind of take it and run with it for a bit if you want, Chris. Does that work for you? Yeah, yeah, that's great, man. And um, guys, what we do is every week we meet on Monday nights usually at eight o'clock unless we have a surprise guest speaker which by the way i don't know if you guys have heard of this guy but next week at 7 30 jesse norfleet is going to be doing a massive recruiting
training with Team Hope. So you guys might want to make a note, and it's going to be a lot of recruiting overseas. They're crushing it overseas right now. So go ahead and make a note of that, guys. Um, but we'll meet every week, 8 o'clock. If you can't make it to the 7.30, show up to the 8 o'clock. And the book we are going over is? The Science of Getting Rich. <laughs> the Science of Getting Rich. All right. And I'm just going to say it before we get started. Stacy, this book is on you. <laughs> you so I'll tell you guys, I have never read this book before. I really enjoyed the first chapter. It's a really short chapter. It's actually like three pages long or four pages long. So it's not, and they're all that way. Like, just so you guys know, this is going to be easy. Like, it's a really, um, really, really thin, thin, thin book. But I want to point out, I'm actually going to share it. Let's see if it works. Can you guys see my screen? Uh, give me a second. I want to see if I can. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So Stacy shared this with us and, uh, you know, I was like, Hey, you know, instead of doing a book that I've read before and you know, why not see what other people have read or heard of? And Stacy was telling me that, uh, Robert Hollis, uh, really promotes this book. And obviously so does Bob Proctor. I watched a video that he did on the book and if Bob Proctor recommends it or Robert Hollis recommends it, I don't know about you guys, but that's enough for me. Um, so, so essentially, uh, Stacy put this link in the chat and then I reposted it. So just a couple, a couple of, uh, uh, just a couple of posts up in our MDC fast track chat. And I just want to encourage you guys all to make sure that you download this. Okay. And the reason I'm telling you that is what I would recommend everybody do each and every single week is make sure they have this printed off or download it on their computer. So that after you guys read the chapter each week, you can come and you can go through these questions and actually answer them as well. And it will help you get a lot more out of this book, I believe. And like I said, this is my first time through, but I was reading these questions and I was thinking about them after I read the chapter again today. And I was like, yeah, you know, this really does make sense to, to, uh, to incorporate this in. So I just want to encourage you guys to do that because what that will do is, we can then come back each and every single week starting next week. And if anyone has already done this, you can, we can refer to it this week as well. Um, but we can come back to this and you guys can, as part of the sharing each week for something that caught our attention, somebody can refer back and be like, yeah, when I was reading, you know, when I read the chapter and I really want to key in on, you know, number two, is it right to be content with honest poverty? If not, why not? How rich do you want to be? and kind of just kind of speak that this was the question that really caught my attention when I was going through the chapter this week. And this was the one that really kind of hit home for me. And it will kind of key us in on the comments that we want to make as we go through this book. So I wanted to point that out to everybody and really encourage you guys to make sure that you download that and that we utilize it um, together as a group. Uh, I'm going to just unshare for a second here. Okay. And um, what we will do is I just, I want to, before we kind of share a little bit, I want to get a little bit of feedback from everybody who has read the chapter, like who read chapter one of the science of getting rich is Stacy and Michelle and Joan and Peggy. And some of you guys aren't, can't see your screen. Um, awesome. Lori and can't see all the names here right now. So, so what my question to you guys, is I want to kind of get a feel for where everybody is at before, uh, before we share, because we can do this one of two ways. Okay. And, Really, I feel we should just make the decision together. I'm a big person that I believe in democracy and uh, kind of feel getting everybody's uh, you know, feelings and, and really respecting where everybody is at. But I read it and we, I was like, okay, I try to teach people uh, over my years in this industry that, is that everybody should spend 15 to 30 minutes a day in personal growth. That's what I believe. Is everybody needs to be doing 15 to 30 minutes a day minimum of personal growth. There's some people that do seven hours a day of personal growth and then they don't work on their business at all and then they wonder why they don't get any results right and so you know there's some happy medium for everybody but for me that's kind of that number that around half an hour that I settled on the you know 15 to 30 minutes that I think everybody should do now when we read a chapter like this it's five minutes right or eight minutes and so then it depends okay well how much time are you going to spend when you look at the questions writing out your answers to them and that sort of thing 
So kind of my question to you guys, is we can do it one of two ways. You know, you guys can do other personal growth as well throughout the course of the week, right? Everyone can kind of monitor themselves and do other stuff as well. And we can just keep it to one chapter a week and answering the questions. Or we could do something like, you know, three chapters a week. And then we kind of each come back each week and, and we can share from any of the three chapters something that caught our attention. So just kind of as a show of hands, um for those of you if you guys can un, if you guys can put your screen on if it's at all possible that's amazing because we would only be able to take uh, kind of votes from those of you guys that i can see your screen but what would you guys prefer would you guys prefer to do one chapter a week and do other personal development on your own as well which you can do as much of as you want obviously or would you prefer to do three so let's if you put one finger up or three fingers up so i can see where people are coming from so three shelly okay gotcha okay okay all right, we got a mix. Man, oh, you guys are not helping me at all. We are half and half. Okay, let, let's just count again. Okay, so we need those up. What was Michelle's? All right, so everybody hold them up again. Hold on. So, Come on, Stacey. Oh, Joan's meeting us in the middle. I like Joan's on, idea Stacey, right Joan. now. See, Joan, that is the perfect, like, what is that? How do you, how do I explain this? Somebody comes in and they're like, Hey, well, if it's split down the middle, let's make everybody happy and let's go with two. Chris, how do you, I love that idea. How do you feel about that? That way we're kind of meeting in the middle for the ones and the threes. You guys like that idea? I just don't want Stacy to win. <laughs> four, four. Yeah, four. And you know, St no, Stacy's a good two. example though, right? Because Stacy does a two. lot. Two's fine. Yeah, and Stacy does a lot of other personal growth too, right? Yeah. So, you know, and that's great. And so I just want to, I love that. That's a great meet in the middle. Let's go with two. And so for next week, we'll do chapters two and three. And then we can comment from either chapter two or three, anything that caught our, our, our attention. And I do really encourage you guys to make sure that you actually utilize that questions list that I, that I pointed out that Stacy and I have both put it in the MGC chat. So it'll help you a lot. Um, but that said, let's go ahead and uh, let's see who wants to go first is sharing something either from the chapter or you can relate it if you've already looked at the questions and you can relate it to one of the one of the Stacey questions. can't go first. Who wants to go Stacey first? Stacey can't go first. She can't? Okay. No. Shelly can. Okay. Well, oh, gosh. All right, Shelly, go for it. You can I meet yourself? Hello. I love this book. Um, the... Question one, does that, what do you want me to do is question one or just something? You can, do, you can do any of the questions if something <laughs> relates to you or something just that caught your attention by yourself. Because a lot of people won't even have looked at the questions yet, right? So whatever yeah. is best for you. Yeah. Um, what really struck me strong was that everything was created to live to its fullest. If it's a tree, it's to be its fullest. If it's an animal, they're supposed to, you know, to strive to live to its fullest. And as humans, we were created to live to our fullest as well. And to do that, we have to have the means to, do, to take care of our families, to enjoy beauty. He talks about, you know, if, you, if you're a person who loves beauty, you have to have the means to appreciate it, to do it. I'm, I'm not huge on painting and art, uh, you know, art, but the things that I do love, I want to be able to do it with freedom and joy and be able to share it with other people. So um, and at one point in there, he said to not pursue living your life to your fullest is a sin. Mm -hmm. That hit me, it was like, ah! Um, that is so powerful. Uh, we don't have a right to sit back and watch others fall when we would have the means to take care of them had we been living to our fullest. And um, I, I'm just motivated to be my best and to do my best so that I can help others. And uh, it, just, it just hit me to the core on that one. Well, it's really good perspective. So I had something very, very similar written down. So that's, that's great. I absolutely love it. Hey, Corey, somebody asked if you could put the link to that questions, but it's in the book, right? Uh, no, it's in, the, it's in our MDC Fast Track chat. So you know what? Let me grab it quickly Elizabeth again. Moreno asked, and Elizabeth, we're going to have to get you in that Fast Track. Uh, can you turn your camera on? Or if you can't, you can't. 
I'll send you a message. Um, no problem. I'm actually grabbing it right now. I'm going to put it in the chat right now because I have I copied it, right. it in there. I copied what you put, Corey, in oh, our did? chat. Awesome. I put it in this in our chat here. Okay, awesome. So, Thanks. Elizabeth, it's in the chat. Wonderful. Yes, uh, exactly. Thanks. So everybody, right, can, everybody can grab that now and make sure that they have it. And then that will help everybody ensure that they have something to kind of key them in and kind of help them as they're answering these various different questions and going through the book and kind of thinking about what, you know, what caught them the most. And, and uh, I found it really helpful. So I, I think you guys will as well. And so thanks to Stacy for that, because Stacy is the one that gave that to all of us. So awesome. Okay, so who wants to go next and share something that uh, caught their attention? All right, Stacey, you can go. Uh, I get excited. You know what? I love that we're studying this book because it's not very big, but it's another one that Bob Proctor, Robert talk about studying this book. So why not put everybody in the same one? Why not share the link that was gifted to me with everybody else? And you know what? A lot of things stand out just in this, this first chapter for me, but to be content with less is simple. When you're not out there pushing for yourself to be the best that you can be, you're doing yourself a disservice. And that's what I get out of this all the time. But man's right is to live life to, in abundance all the way around. And the desire for riches is really the desire for a richer, fuller, more abundant life. And that is, that is praiseworthy. And they tell you that. And it's like, you're not seeing yourself in all the potential that you're really capable of, then you've got something, some more stuff to work on. And this book is going to bring it out of you because we are all, every single one of us, there's three motives. We live for body, mind, and soul. And he was talking about, you know, if you're only working on mind and you're not paying attention to body and soul, you're, you're basically, you're not living to your fullest and that you must be working on all three of these. So working on our minds, body, and soul is, <laughs> is how you live life and, and express it to the fullest. Mm -hmm. And that's what I get excited about these types of books because I'm like, where was this shit? Oh, sorry about my mouth. <laughs> but where was this a long time ago when I was going through like this major ping pong um, roller coaster like terror that I put myself through. Why didn't somebody throw this book at me and say, here you go, read it. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm grateful to have it today. And from day one, since connecting with Robert Hollis, I mean, I connected with him when I first came into this, but I didn't know what I was doing and I was all over the place. And he simply was like, hey, check this out. And I got into his program and this book was something that I kept seeing everybody talking about. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it was right there and I asked him about it, like, what is this book? You know, and he, he simply was like, here, I want to share something with you. And that's why he shared that with me. And I want to share it with everybody else because the fact that you have questions mm -hmm. and you, he, he teaches you about retaining the information and he'll ask you, so if somebody sends a message and says, hey, I liked that book, he'll say, what was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. And you would be surprised at how many people are like, uh, uh, okay, yeah, you didn't read it. You read it, but you didn't retain what's in there. So I like that this book does that for us, gives us these questions to answer, and I did it. Um, but I want to do it like when we all do it, you know what I mean? Like, let's all, now we all have the questions now. Yeah. Y'all know where it's at. I posted it when we first decided this book was what we were going to do. And now we all have it. So I encourage everybody to answer these questions and really study the delve chapters. In. Awesome. Yeah, delve in. And on that note, just with what you're saying there, Stacey, too, like, remember, even though, even with us meeting in the middle at only two chapters a week, right? We're probably talking about like 10 minutes of reading, right? At the very most, right? So I want to remind you guys too that when we're talking about this delving in and really getting it into our brains, this could be a great opportunity to be the person that reads the same chapter. Like you could read this chapter two, three, four, these two chapters two, three, four, five times if you want to, right? And so repetition is the mother of all skills. So by all means, right, maybe that's kind of the, the happy uh, medium that we have here is just recognizing, okay, well, 
you know, we can spend some more time and really kind of go deeper and really like read it two or three times or, or even more. So I just want to encourage you guys to be thinking about that, not thinking like, oh, it's only four or five pages or whatever, right? So, so there's so much good stuff here. So that's awesome. Cool. So anyone else want to go and share something? I want to see somebody else jump out here and share. I've got, I've got a couple people on the call out list. <laughs> hey, Chris, yeah, I don't think you have the right Joan, to call people out. Your camera you. better Chris not go me. off, Joan. Chris does not kidding. have the right to call anybody out. I don't, I don't have anybody <laughs> calling. I was just I'm joking. always on your list, Chris. I am <laughs> always on your list. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> All right, go for it, Joan, if you want to say something. Well, okay, so maybe I, I didn't understand and Stacy, you might be able to help me with this since you've read it, because this is my first time reading it too. So the question that says, is it right to be content with honest poverty? Um, my response to that question was, I have to answer that with a question. Is it honest poverty <clears throat> if one is content? Mm -hmm. So if they're happy with where they are, do they consider themselves to be rich? Or am I not interpreting the question right? Well, the way I, I don't know what how I'm going to take away from it is that if you're not wanting more for yourself on a day to day, yes, you know, it, it talked about being like happy with where you're at. We hear that all the time. But what the way I took out of it was if you're content with being in poverty and being less than you know that you can be, then you're then it's not okay. It's not okay. That's what I take away from that, that we should always want more for ourselves, more abundance, more fuller life. And that means the, the riches of rich. Right. I, and I agree with that. Yeah, but, right. But when I think about other people who are, who are what I would term maybe poverty stricken, and they don't seem to be doing anything to get themselves out of that is because they don't know or they don't have a desire. Maybe I'm digging too deep here with this, you know, but that was what I thought. I was like, well, maybe they're just happy being where they are. Can I now, and, and they say, and they said in that, in the, in the book that when people don't want more for themselves, it's, un, it's not normal. It's mm. not normal. And that and maybe, too, yeah. Sorry, Stacey, I just want to no, say go ahead. Too, I think too that sometimes people convince themselves, right? So they get, they're ready with the status quo. They're re the, the status quo is easier than anything else in their, in their heads. And so they convince themselves that they're content with where they're at, right? But as wow. a result of convincing themselves or trying to convince themselves, that we, we do so much less than we could otherwise do, right? So somebody can think that because what we think is our reality, whether it's right or wrong, is kind of like the old book, like the Think and Grow, Grow Rich book, right? We create our own realities. That's what we do, right? And our reality is our reality, regardless of whether it makes any sense to the next person or not. So I think somebody can convince themselves that they're content with not having more or can try to convince themselves that they're content with not having more. But if it really got down to it, that, that they would realize, you know, or if they got themselves around the right group of people that started to pour the proper mentality into their brains, they would realize that there was so much more available in life, right? So that's, I don't know, that's how I would look at it. And I agree with that. I agree. I mean, I can't, sorry, my dogs are broken. I can't imagine not wanting more. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, so, but then I had, I stepped back and I was like, well, what about all these people who, who don't? Right. And, you know, so that's where I was coming from with that. But yeah. So, well, I know I didn't read the chapter guys, but I can speak with experience on this kind of thing. I, I, I mean, life experience. Mm. When you're broken, mm -hmm. When you're completely broken, you don't care anymore because you don't think others care. And it's all, it's all me, it's nobody else. I'm just saying what we're thinking in our minds is we're okay with it. We're just like, 
It is what it is. Like, and there's a lot of damage behind that, you know, and it can go really deep. You know, it can go into family situations. It can go into abuse situations. It can go into, so a lot, I think a lot of people, that's what we need to do is carry hope to them. It, this isn't just about CBD guys. We all talk about this all the time. Mm-hmm. You'd be amazed at what a broken person can do if a hand has reached out to them and they're willing to accept that help. Mm-hmm. It would blow your mind what somebody can do. Because we all have that capability, right? Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of us go through a lot of years of brokenness. And so, mm-hmm. you know, that was, that was me and, and the hand was reached out and I was willing to accept it. So That's yeah. awesome. And that's what I love about it, because this is really just about personal freedom, and it's really about personal development and pushing yourself to to your your live like just going, just going. Because there's a wall up for so many people, but once you start unlocking this up here, and your mind becomes like this parachute, and you're like, okay, what else can I do? That's how I feel about this opportunity. So when people ask me like, what is it? I explain it like that. Like this is about helping as many people as we can with personal freedom. We encourage personal development every single day because you only you will start to realize what you're capable of once you start plugging into the right things that are going to bring out the best in you and the people, the community and culture that we get to surround ourselves with daily is like no other. And that's how I explain it to people. (laughs) I got a good one. A lot of people on here know this already. Um, You guys remember when Carlos Martinez reached out to me? You guys remember the story? If you would have told me back then that a year later, I'd be talking to Jenna Zwagel personally back and forth and she would be mentoring me, I would have told you you were out of your mind. Mm -hmm. But because Carlos reached out to me, he unlocked a part of my mind that made me believe. It's hmm. awesome. Cool. Awesome. Anyone else want to share? Because that is great. I love that. You know, Joan, I'm sorry you brought that up because it really, that's for good conversation. That was awesome. Um, who else wants to go ahead and, uh, and, uh, and share something here? <clears throat> All right. I'm not going to force anyone. I'll go quickly if no one else wants to go. All right. Okay, well, I'll just quickly share. I won't spend a lot of time on this because we all we all hammered at home already, right? But at, at, with what you guys are talking, I actually wrote at the bottom of my page, I just wrote, hashtag, are you living to your full potential? So I was like 100% uh, with you, Stacy, with what you were saying when you first started, uh, when you first started talking there, right? Just because it's so true. It's a question that we got to ask ourselves, right? Are we living to our full potential? And when we start asking that, we realize, hey, you know, there's more that we could be doing, we start to, you start to, um, like I say, you know, it's no different than the other book. You start to come up with ideas and thoughts and, and, and you start to have this, this kind of inflow of, of um, inspiration, if you want to call it that, right. That leads to amazing and other great things happening. And that's kind of how it works. So, you know, to, 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 um, you know, I think this is going to be the perfect book to follow up on Think and Grow Rich because so much of it is going to kind of go hand in hand and really take us to another level. And then the next thing I'm going to briefly mention, because we hammered that home to death already, which is great, is at the bottom of page five, this really struck me. It, he said, um, to uh, live fully in soul, an individual must have love. And the expression of love is often frustrated by poverty. An individual's highest happiness is found in the bestowal of benefits on those he loves. Love finds its most natural and spontaneous expression in giving. The person who has nothing to give cannot fill his place as a husband or father, as a citizen or a human being. It is in the use of material things that a person finds full life for his body, develops his mind, and unfolds his soul. It is therefore of supreme importance to be rich. And I, I don't know, I was kind of hit by this comment because I thought from my own perspective, right, that the, for me, the more I feel like I'm in a position to give and give abundantly, right? 
um, the more joy I personally have in my life, right? So, you know, it goes kind of hand in hand. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that, right? The more that I feel I'm in a position to give and give abundantly, right? The more joy I feel I end up having in my life. And so I just thought, hey, you know, there's a lot of truth to, um, to, what, he's, to what he's saying there because <clears throat> at the end of the day, the more people we can help, the more, the more people that we care about, that we can do amazing things for, the better everybody's life is, right? So anyway, I, I kind of just like that, uh, that part, that little, that little blurb in the chapter and something that um, I thought was worth mentioning because I'm sure there's some other people that feel similar have noticed that if, when you're in that position, um, it brings a lot of joy to, to other people, but it also brings a lot of joy to yourself as well, right? It goes, it goes both ways. So anyway, that said, before I, um, before we move on and, and kind of go into chapter two and three for next week, one final chance. Anybody else want to share anything before we kind of close this sharing off? <clears throat> All right. Okay, well, I'll close with this. And then Chris and Jen, if you guys have anything you want to say to close off the call, uh, you totally, totally obviously can. And that's just this, right? I really hope that all of us can kind of take, you know, what we've gone through and think and grow rich and what we're going to go through now in the science of, of uh, getting rich and that we can really use it as true inspiration to take our lives to a whole other level. Because at the end of the day, the reason I believe so strongly in us doing this is because I know that it's the people that never stop growing personally that will always end up becoming the most successful people and end up having the biggest effect on the most amount of other people that they come into contact with. And so for me, to me, this is about all of us being in the mentality in a zone where we're like, okay, well, learning, growing, it doesn't stop when we finish high school. It doesn't stop when we finish university, right? It doesn't stop, you know, after we're done raising our kids or whatever stage of life that we're at, it doesn't stop, right? It's a lifelong thing. And when we all embrace it as a lifelong thing, um, we're going to achieve so much more as a result of it. So really encourage you guys to use it as inspiration to go out there and do more than you would have otherwise done this week, right? Because that's what it really comes down to. Are we going out there and doing more than we would have otherwise done? Or are we just sticking with the status quo and just kind of letting another week go by with whatever happens, happens? If you let another week go by with just letting whatever happens, happens, it really means that you're missing out on part of the biggest or to me one of the biggest benefits of personal growth which is achieving more being more doing more helping more people and making a bigger difference right so let's use this as inspiration to go out there and be like okay well you know what if we end up hitting one extra person that we wouldn't have otherwise hit if we weren't feeling inspired this week right well that could be chris livingston who is down and out at xyz point right or that could be stacy or shelly or whoever all of our names on this call that were at this moment of whatever it was um, at that point in life so just want to leave it there with you guys use it as inspiration and let's go do more this week than we would have otherwise done so with that I'll turn it back to Jen and Chris, and you guys can close it off however you like. Thanks, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Awesome, as always. Anything to say? Yeah, I'm just going to say this. For all of you that are on here, you're the smart ones. No offense <laughs> to anybody else, but I'm going to tell you this. And, and, and this, I, this, I'm not any genius. You guys know that. I've learned this from Corey, Ron, Aaron, and Jenna now. This whole thing, whether you stick with this or not, this whole thing in life is mindset and self-development. Whether If you want to be successful in this business, which is what we are talking about right now, you're going to do what you have to do to make sure you're okay. Because confidence and your beliefs and your reasonings and your motives and why you're doing this, and that is going to make you successful. The fears, the doubts, the insecurities, the rejection issues, all of that is going to crush you the rest of your life, no matter if you're in this business or not. So the ones that are on here, that's why we do this, guys. We're doing this so all of us, me, Jana, Corey, Stacy, Joan, so we all can develop as better human beings. 
That's the number one goal. Number two goal is to help as many people as we can. And number three, hopefully we're all going to be in the Bahamas in a year, year and a half, <laughs> drinking Mai Tais. Mine will be a virgin. And we'll be looking back going, <laughs> holy crap, I'm glad we did those book things with Corey. <laughs> And it's going to affect your relationship with your husband, your kids, your everyone. This is going to affect your whole life, guys. So we're glad that you're here and we hope you keep coming back because I'm excited to learn. I promise I'll read the book this week. I promise. <laughs> promise. Yeah. All right, guys. What do you got? Sweet. Oh, this is such a good night. Such a good night. I love it when it turns out like that. Yay. So tomorrow is going to be mind-blowing as well with Josh and Jenna and don't forget next week we've got Jesse Norfleet so keeps mm -hmm. getting better my friends so yeah. share the word and to all of our people that are on here that are members at large Chad Stacy Elizabeth Chris there's a bunch of you on here we love you guys you're you're part of the family you're part of the team um we don't you know we just want to help each other so thank you all for being here and participating tonight Thank you guys. And Love if you, you missed guys. the beginning of this, I actually um, I recorded it. So if, if you missed the beginning, you really want to watch what she said. So I actually want to watch it again. So I'm going to post it on my YouTube and then I'll post it in the group. Joan, I'm going to send you a message because I got something I think you might like to do for us. All right? <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you so Bye, much. Guys. Bye, Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. You know, something comes out of it. Like crawling. You might as well dig a hole for me next to cover. Yeah, right. Gun stuff. It's not like.